Caleb here with Sigurd's Photography and today we're going to be looking into some of the sightings of Bigfoot near Hanoba, Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I decided for this week I'm going to read some of the reports off the Bigfoot Field Research Organization website. And I decided to choose some of the reports in this area since every year they have a huge Bigfoot festival in Hanoba, Oklahoma. This year it was canceled due to COVID, but they plan to have it next year. Um, so here's a report from April 2020, which was just a couple of months ago, actually. And the reports are written by the people who experience them, so they're all in first person. Um, so I'm going to read them, tell you what I think about them, and go on to the next one. So while we were camping in the Ochuria Mountains near Talamina Scenic Drive. I always forget how to pronounce those um, mountains. And Talamina is actually like 30 minutes from here. At 3.39, we all woke up due to the sound of something knocking on a tree. Was in the distance, but close enough to make you on edge. We thought it was a woodpecker and brushed it aside. 10 minutes later, we heard the noise on our right side of the tent. The knocking was in triplets, such as a knock, 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 and then a pause, and then a knock, knock, knock in every direction. The knocking had a slight variation. The knocking was coming from all sides of our tent, as there was something surrounding us communicating. The knocks had a slight variation in how quick they were, but all of them had a triple knocking. The closest knocking was about 50 yards uphill from us, uh, the close one made everything stop in the woods. It was raining, and it stopped along with the wind. Which is weird, considering it was super windy up there the whole time we stayed, except for the moment. Or, except for in that one moment. We all agreed not to camp in that one spot again. So, most of the Bigfoot th sightings or experiences in this area have to do with knocking, which... And a lot of people think it's woodpeckers, which there are a bunch of woodpeckers in the area and in Oklahoma. But the whole the rain and wind stopped, that's kind of crazy if it happened. Because that'd be really scary. If it was raining and windy the whole time and then you heard three knocking and it just stopped on a dime. Okay, here's another report from March 2008. We were hiking on the ridge above our friend's cabin. We needed to catch our breath and check out uh, a some, storm, some stone formations. After about 10 minutes of waiting on one of our friends to come back from a possible storm stone formation, I was looking uphill and saw a head peeking around a hickory tree in a bush. It was moving back and forth from the tree. There was a lot of dead tree fallen vegetation between us, but it appeared to be sitting on the ground. I could see a face and a head and shoulders and what appeared to be of a primate. I asked my closest friend to come up behind me and closely look over my right shoulder and I pointed in the direction of the animal. He about fell over. The eyes were dark and the face to be, well, the face appeared to be covered in hair or fur. The head was crested and covered in fuzzy hair, and the hair came down to the head and became longer as it transitioned into the shoulder area. It was an Irish, shed, Irish setter red. There was a short neck area, and it was about 100 to 225 feet away from me. It appeared to be smaller than me. I'm 6 foot tall, 280 pounds. Watching it watching it for about five minutes as it watched me. My other friend started to return. It started walking back away from me, and I lost sight of it. But it reappeared a short distance to the left of its previous position and began peeking us at us from around the top of vegetation it was hiding behind. At this time, it was peeking very quickly a minute between appearances. We watched it for about 15 more minutes and then did not see it again. So... I personally never had an experience with Bigfoot, um, and I go out in the woods a lot, but there's a lot of woods, and you can't, I wouldn't, I, 
I can't say that there have been, oh, okay, let me rephrase. There's been so many Bigfoot sightings that you can't basically say every one of them is lying. Um, so it's always a possibility. And we have one more report from an off-duty police or law enforcement officer. Um, he describes vocalization, wood knocks, and rock throwing outside the town of Hefner. This is uh, in the video. This is the town of Hanoba. And we are actually coming up on a little diner slash souvenir shop. Right there with the little red roof they have great burgers if you are in town definitely should try them out because their burgers are amazing um so here's the report from the off-duty police officer um me and a longtime friend were camping in the woods near hefner oklahoma by tram ridge road about 5 15 p.m we heard what sounded like an ape from the zoo we sat and listened to this for about two minutes, and then we heard what sounded like rocks or knocks coming from the area of the creek below us. We thought it was a woodpecker at first, but the knocks were slow and loud, or too slow and too loud to be that. We had read that that was the way that they communicated, so we try, tried it for ourselves. I don't really think that this was a good idea. When we started banging two logs together, the knocks got closer to us, and we heard more knocks, so we stopped. For about a minute or two, then some rocks came flying into our camp. These were not small stones. They could, that could be thrown a long ways. These were four to five inch diameter. And soon as we stopped, we were on our guard for the rest of the day and night, and it just got worse. We went to bed about 10:30 p.m. and all, all sounds good until we were walk. There were walking sounds around our tent, and what we thought smelled. Um, and we thought there were sounds of smelling around the seams of our tent and windows. That night we heard nothing. Well, we heard that the night and we heard nothing the next day. So I think, obviously, if they are real, you probably shouldn't call them if you are afraid of what's going to come to you. Just like anything. Like if you are afraid of a mountain lion attacking you and you think a mountain lion's out there you don't want to call a mountain lion to you you know what i mean so i think just don't be afraid that you're gonna run into a bigfoot but if you are in an experience where you think you there's a bigfoot around you just be safe um yeah Next week we're going to do the video on the Legend of Crybaby Bridge. And then for Halloween we will be doing the old Indian Cemetery in Brown Springs. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a little bit different obviously because there was no hiking, it was all driving. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Those were just some of the sightings in southwest Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Okay, if you push this circle right here, you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you push this one right here, it'll take you to the previous hike. And then this one right here will take you to the full uh, playlist of all the Oklahoma hikes.